How you doing? This is William Sensei again. So, I don't know if you could see what I was doing, but I was trying to emulate the next sport we're going to talk about today. And I think we already talked about Mr. Kano, Jigoro Kano. Do you remember? Who was he the father of? Right? Father of the Japanese only, but he was also the father of Judo. So, Judo became an Olympic sport in the 1964 Tokyo Games. It was the first games in Tokyo. And um, let me tell you a little bit about it. So the athletes wearing white uh, or blue judo uniform. So this is what I'm wearing. is actually a judo uniform replica t-shirt. Yes. And um, so they have the uh, competition. They face each other, uh, one person for one person, on a 10 by 10 meter ring. So this area is almost, this area is just about a 10 by 10 meter tatami mat. And there are, if you can believe, there are 100 techniques and 68 are like throwing and then 32 or more, you know, grappling, like holding on something and doing, right? So, and when either athlete earns an ippon, the match is over. Now, if all requirements are not met for an ippon, then uh, they have to go with these half points, which are called waza ari. So, the waza ari are accumulated if there's no ippon. Right, so the exciting thing about judo is an athlete can be behind on points um, at the very last few seconds, and then boom, ippon, it's over. So you can have a lot of you know uh, waza adis lined up, but if you get the ippon, they mean nothing, right? So that's really cool for judo, and I'd like to give a shout out to my man. Matthew Baker, or Baker Matthew, an Olympian from the 2016 uh, Games, and he won a gold medal. I got to meet him, he's a very nice young man, and unfortunately, I don't think he's made it for this Tokyo 2020s because of injuries, uh, but shout out to him. But we're looking forward to the judo uh, at the uh, Olympics here in Tokyo which will be actually, how many more days to go? 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60 days to go. Yes, so 60 days to go for the Olympics, exactly two months away for the Olympics. So we are definitely excited. And I'd like to thank this shirt this will be the last time you'll be wearing i'll be wearing this shirt because tomorrow is the day i get the uniform so i'm very happy to get the in and show it to you what it's going to look like so tomorrow will be the uniform special what it looks like what have we got so that'll be cool for tomorrow so it's still a state of emergency so be careful out there and mask up wash your hands do all you can you know to stay safe and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.